Hi everybody. Okay, there go another train. I gotta keep going with this. So this video is titled If God Said It, It's Already Done. This is a video that is going to bring that God wants to bring comfort and reassurance to you. Despite whatever situation you're going through, whatever you may be dealing with, or uh, whatever you may be experiencing. God is saying to you to just rest in assurance in his word. Don't give more precedence over your emotions or your physical situation or your experiences or whatever you're finding yourself going through, the different circumstances and things like that. God is saying, not saying ignore those things and just act like they don't exist. Believe God to move in your life in those things, but it's saying make sure that you connect with Holy Spirit, you connect with the Lord and you you have a word of God to hold of your situation. When you want to give up, when you want to break down, when you just want to God, it's like, no, if I said it to you, it's going to happen. It's already done. It doesn't matter what it looks like. It doesn't matter what it feels like. Be refreshing the word of God. We're hearing the word of God, speaking the word of God, listening to the word of God, praying. If you feel like you're too weak to pray, um, having other people intercede and pray for you. Amen. You guys know that this channel is big on that. I also give you guys lots of other men and women of God channel, different things like that to encourage you as well, especially you on um on weekly devotional as well. Amen. So um, if God said it is already done and the scripture for this one is going to be um, I'm going to give you guys Isaiah 55 for this one to just be encouraged. It don't see see. And I've mentioned, see, a lot of a lot of the videos on this channel, guys, is almost 400 videos on this channel. Glory to God. So many rich nuggets and words and downloads and prayers and declarations and things from God that God was saying to us during that time. Even it's ministered to some of you in this right now time was already released. So I'm not going to go back over that. You guys just got to go back and listen. But if God already said it to you, it's already done. He said it. He, he gave the word. Of what Jesus was already was, but Jesus still had to go through. But that is his going through didn't stop him from his getting to. See, what God don't want you to do is allow your going through to stop you from your getting to. Because a lot of times when, when you're going through, the enemy's going to try to make you stop right there and make you feel like where well, you're not going to never get to it because you're going through so much. But that's the time where you have to press in. Even if you fall and you break down and feel like it's too much, go to God with that. Don't just stay there and let it sit on you. You're going through to get to. Especially when you know that this is something that um, God put you in or God have you going through. Now, it's a difference when you're just going through because of your own flesh, your own will, your own way, your own disobedience. That's something that you got to go to the Lord about and repent so you can be back on the right direction. Because it's not to say that you won't go through anything. It's just saying that things will be a lot easier when you are on the Lord's side. It, it, it will be. You won't have any unnecessary warfare things like that so if god said it, it's already done god already promised you that relationship that spouse god already promised you that house that car god already showed you that ministry god already showed you that vision that dream god already gave you that scripture god already gave you that promise god already gave you the okie doke to go for it with that or told you this is going to happen for you in your life it could be a host of other things god already told you that you was going to reach that level in the realm of the spirit god already told you that you're going to do these different things. If God said it, it's already done. Uh, if, if this is sticking out to you, I encourage you to go back and listen to the video that we did uh, some days ago. It's called The Peas in Your Life. It's called The Peas in Your Life. Listen to that video. And, it's, and there's another video also called um, Reasons Not to Quit or Reasons Not to Give Up on Here. Okay, they're both in the month of January. So if this is blessing you, go back and listen to that if you missed it. Um, it will really encourage and strengthen you in your faith. But let me read um, two scriptures to you. I'm going to read Isaiah 55. Okay, I'm going to read Isaiah 55. And I'm also going to read Ecclesiastes 3, verse 1 through 8. But I'm, I'm speaking strength over you. I'm praying that you're going to hold on and not faint. And I'm speaking also Galatians 6, 9 over you. You're not going to you're not gonna give up and get weary and faint because you're going to reap. You're going to reap if you're faint not. So read Galatians 6 in your private time, okay? And just be encouraged by that, okay? But for the, the, the main scriptures that we're focusing on today is Isaiah 55 and Ecclesiastes 3, 1 through 8, okay? So um, let me read that to you. Let me go there. Give me just a second. 
I speak the strength of Nehemiah over you as well. You're going to keep working on your wall. You're not going to give up. Uh, be encouraged by the book of Nehemiah. You're not going to give You're going to keep working on the wall because what God promised you, he's going to fulfill. The God that promised it to you is faithful to perform it, according to Hebrews, right? Excuse me, Philippians 1, 6 says, He that begin the good work in you shall perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Amen. So just, just hold on to that. And just know you're not alone. A lot of times we're going through and we feel alone, but you're not alone. God knows how to give you the word and the strength and the provision and the protection and the peace and the answer and lead you and guide you and the rest and everything else that you need. Okay, so just be encouraged by that. So Isaiah 55, and we thank you, Lord, for this video. Thank you for touching minds and hearts. Thank you for this word. Holy Spirit, have your way. We give you glory, honor, and praise, Lord. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. So Isaiah 55, I'm just going to read it to you guys, ear gates. It's talking about invitation to the thirsty. If this video is already ministering to you or you clicked on it, it's for you. So just receive it. Amen. So it says, come all you who are thirsty. Come to the waters and you who have no money, come buy and eat. Come buy wine and milk without money and without cost. Why spend money on what is not bread and your labor on what does not satisfy Listen, listen to me and eat what is good. Somebody say, I will eat what is good. Amen. If that's for you, uh, Isaiah 1 and 19 is your portion. If you are willing and obedient, you're going to eat the good of the land. Amen. So, and your soul will delight in the riches of fair. Give ear and come to me. Hear me that your soul may live. This is what God is saying to someone on today. I will make an everlasting covenant with you. My faithful love promised to David. See, I have made him a witness to the peoples, a leader and commander of the peoples. Surely you will summon nations you know not and nations that you do not know will that do not know you. I'm sorry, will hasten to you because of the Lord, your God, the Holy One of Israel. For he has endowed you with splendor. Somebody says splendor. Seek the Lord while he may be found. Call on him while he is near. See, God is saying, come to me right now. Don't wait until later tonight. Don't wait till tomorrow. Don't wait until come to me right now because what you need right now is in my presence and I'm going to release it to you as you come to me, right? As you, as you allow us to have this divine exchange, okay? So seek the Lord while he may be found. Call on him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the evil man his thoughts. Let him turn to the Lord and he will have mercy on him and to our God for he will freely pardon. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. That's a word for somebody. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. As the rain and the snow come down from heaven and do not return to it without watering the earth and making it bud and flourish so that it yields seed for the sower and bread for the eater, so is my word that goes out from my mouth. It will not return to me empty, but will accomplish what I desire and achieve the purpose for which I sent. See, that's going back to the title of this message. If God said it, it's already done. It's already complete. It's already going to happen. This is the scripture um, for you to hold on to. Amen. So even I'm holding on to this and been holding on to this for years now. Amen. So 12 reading to 13. You will go out in joy and be led forth in peace. The mountains and hills will burst into song before you and all the trees of the field will clap their hands. Instead of the thorn bush, see, instead of you going through the difficulty and the hard things and the hardness, God is saying, I'm going to turn that around for your good. All this is actually working together for your good. According to Romans 8, 28, God chooses those in advance, right? Just read Romans 8, 28. It's not before me, but God is going to work it for your good because you love him and you're called according to his purpose, okay? So 13, instead of the thorn bush will grow the pine tree and instead of briars, the myrtle will grow. This will be for the Lord's renown for an everlasting sign, which will not be destroyed. So I hope that Isaiah 55 was um, a blessing to you. Before we get into Ecclesiastes 3, 1 through 8, I'm going to be obedient because he dropped this to me while I was reading. This is also for you if you're taking notes, Matthew 11, 28 through 30, okay? It says, come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. See, God is saying, come to me right now. Come to me right now with a situation. Come draw near to me right now in the midst of you feeling how you feel and going, what you're going through. Because there is a divine exchange. There's a divine release. So come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. There are going to be some things that men make 
can't give you right now in this season that God wants to show you that he's God that only God will be able to give it to you in this level in this capacity whether it is emotionally mentally spiritually financially relationally whatever the case God wants to do okay so 29 and 30 take my yoke upon you and learn from me for I am gentle and humble in heart and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And I'm going to release this as PG as possible, okay? If it's your first time, like you're a virgin right now with the Lord. You never experienced certain experiences or manifestations or encounters with the Lord. The Lord is going to take his time with you because he have to break you in proper, okay? He, he have to take his time with you so he may handle you a little bit different in this season than he do other people in their seasons or he may handle you a different more care in this season than other but he, you're still gonna get the ultimate experience that you need with the lord okay now i told you i'm very real and raw i have to give it to y'all how he's giving it to me so i'm not saying nothing out of context and i'm not saying nothing crazy so don't think crazy i'm saying the the love of god to you his comfort his love this bible all these love letters, all these blessings, all these words from God. We see different characteristics of God, his judgment, his wrath, his hurt, his, his blessings, his love, his hand, his peace, everything. Okay. So he's saying, take my yoke upon you and, and, and learn from me for I'm gentle and humble in heart and you will find rest for your souls for my yoke is easy and my burden is light. For those of you that do know God and you have experienced God. And I'm not saying the first person having experienced God. I'm saying you've been through a few more things. You've been battered. You've been going through and you know what it is to stand strong and tough and have God. And God said, I'm going to love you on another level as well. We don't have time to read it today, but read Isaiah 54, which is a chapter for Isaiah 55. It talks about the storm battered city being storm battered and God building you up and God being your creator, your husband, your lover. Um, all these rich blessings. If you haven't read that, please read it. Um, and last but not least for this video, I want to read Ecclesiastes 3, 1 through 8. It's talking about there's a time for everything. Okay. So there's a time for everything and a season for every activity under heaven. A time to be born and a time to die. A time to plant and a time to uproot. A time to kill and a time to heal. A time to tear down and a time to build. A time to weep and a time to laugh, a time to mourn and a time to dance, a time to scatter stones and a time to gather them, a time to embrace and a time to refrain, a time to search and a time to give up, a time to keep and a time to throw away, a time to tear and a time to mend, a time to be silent and a time to speak, a time to love and a time to hate, a time for war and a time for peace. There's a time for everything. So just know that. Um, your your time and your season to change is going to manifest in the proper time. Be encouraged, right? Seasons change. The clock changes. Um, the, the sun and, and night change, okay? It's bound to happen. It's inevitable. Just be encouraged by that. Amen. And there's also a video on here that I released last year. Um, check it out if this is ministering to you. I'm trying to give you guys as much word and everything Holy Spirit is telling me to drop on these videos for today because it's multiple ones for today. But, um, and praise God. But, um, listen to that, that rawness and revelation video. It's a two part video. Go back. It has a playlist. Um, and listen to that of this particular word. Bless you. Be encouraged. But I love you guys. All glory to God. Have a great day. I'm praying for you guys. God bless.